For any 18-year-old, getting behind the wheel is a big deal. Left blinker. But for Sean Lale, the rite of passage is extra special. When I was younger, of course, I thought I would always be able to drive, but as my disability progressed, um, the disease does progress. Um, well, then I just started to think, you know, I liked cars all my life, but it'll be a shame if I can't drive. Sean has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a condition that causes his muscles to become weaker as he ages. He uses a wheelchair and has limited mobility. But as of last summer, Sean became the first person in Canada to be licensed to drive using the Joystear electronic driving system. It allows people with minimal hand function to control a vehicle with a joystick. Driving UBC would be really fun. This isn't Sean's car. It belongs to his instructor, Dean Robertson. I remember what it was like when I first got my license, right? It was all about independence, responsibility, and now for individuals with disabilities, they have that same opportunity to have that excitement and independence and then also be a responsible driver. While there are other adaptive driving technologies out there, Robertson says the Joysteer system has fewer limitations. The Joysteer system is unique in that it allows you to change the amount of force um, with the hand control, and that means you can accommodate uh, a wider array of clients. The total cost to install this system in a vehicle is $70,000. But because driving isn't considered medically necessary, Sean's family is paying out of pocket. There's a lot of people in, in, uh, who are disabled that don't have as many opportunities, right? So it would be great if the government would cover a significant am amount of the price because in all honesty, everyone wants to drive. Every other um, friend that I have who's in a power wheelchair or a wheelchair user, their dream is to just drive, to be independent because for them, it's like driving would be everything. Sean's new vehicle equipped with the Joystear system is scheduled to arrive by the end of the year. For me, I think, you know, driving is just the star of everything to come. Bal Brach, CBC News, Vancouver.